Tape, continuing from directly from the 24th, it's still June 11th, 1995, and I'm with Marwan Jessawala in Mondali Hall, who is in the process of reading some of the correspondence between Baba's Baba and Erich and others with Baba and the Jessawala family over the course of the years. Yeah. So, I'm sorry that uh, in... Uh, when I started reading out these letters, I'm the one of the oldest letters, so I, I'll have to mm, take a jump back in time and... Uh, well, we can begin this new tape. <laughs> yeah. An earlier date. Yeah. So, this is a letter that I wrote to Baba and then the accompaniment to it. So. There is no place, there is no date, whatever that is. So, I don't know where I had written it from, and but uh, I'll tell you what the reference to it later. So, this is the text. My dearest and beloved Sri Baba, Dear Baba, I feel so lonely without you. Dear Baba, won't you call us quick? Please do so. You are loving Merwan. <laughs> yeah. So this gives an idea of how Baba was a companion to me and filled filled the need for companionship of even the smallest child. So to, to marbles with. Yeah, so how Baba was at every level for for each one of us and never neglected even the smallest member of the family. You know. mm -hmm. So now uh, there is an attachment to this letter and uh, it's by Eraj. Um, it's dated Merazad, 24th November 1969. So I think it's, uh, it's still in sequence. <laughs> My dear Merwan, herewith I am sending your letter to beloved Baba I got it out from the 1939 files of correspondence. So it's at that, that period. We all loved it very much. I got it out as it would have been lost in the heap of all records. All your family at Merazad send you and all dear ones much love. This letter you had written to beloved Baba when you were only nine years old. I also add two sayings of beloved Baba, one and two, as given above. You will all like them. Yours lovingly, Eraj. So, this is the uh, sayings that he writes here. One, quotes, spiritual path is not a bargaining counter. The self, that's the capital self, the self gives to the self, the lower self, and the self receives from the self selflessly. Could I, uh, you know, the self, uh, there is capital and the small self, so how do I read it? Or do you want me to hold it and you'll... No, read it again. Uh, Will it, I need not mention capital and small. Yeah, I, I can follow, yeah. You'll be able to follow it? Right. I'll read it again. Spiritual path is not a bargaining counter. The self gives to the self and the self receives from the self selflessly. That's the quotes. Yeah. This was the burden of Baba's short discourse to the Mandli on divine grace. Mm. Then second, Baba in a lecture on love said, Loved at all. That's the next. Read that again. Number two, quotes. Baba in a lecture on love said, Love gives, so why want to be exactly does? Lover is one who gives else what it means. So lot. profound in it, yeah. And then as a sequel to my letter, I was able to get a reply from Baba in a in a different context altogether. So, this is Ahmad Nagar 26740. I wonder whether 
it must be reply to this, but it looks, here is Baba writing to me. My dear Merwan, I have just received your sweet letter along with Mama's cover and I am very happy to note what you have written. My love and blessings to you and all at home. Signed MS Iran. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think we'll close. Getting sound, all right. Jai Baba. Jai Baba. This is this afternoon of the same day, June 11th, and just picking up straight from where we dropped off. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, I think I had to go back in time to read my letter written when I was very young. Uh, and uh, then we'll have to hop back to a later period. Again, it's uh, 1965. So, uh, <coughs> uh, Erich is indisposed and uh, usually it was, it would be Erich who would write letters to me and uh, <clears throat> Suddenly, I received a, let, a postcard from Money. So was this during the period that Erich was very, very sick? Or yeah. that was earlier? Or was that this time? Uh, oh, that was in 1962, I think, when uh, he had that attack of hemolysis or something. Uh, yeah. So this was later. This is later. You see, that had weakened his system quite a bit. So, since then, for a few years, mm. he, uh, <coughs> towards the end of the year, he would keep getting sort of, uh, some sort of uh, ailment or the other. <coughs> so, here's another such time, and it's a postcard from Mani, uh, at, from Merazad, dated 14th of December, 65. It says, Dear Merwan, rushing these few lines to let you dear ones know that dear Erich is indisposed with fever. So do not be worried if you do not get his usual letters. On twelfth evening at 8 p.m. he suddenly got rigors and had high fever all night. Yesterday morning he was feeling better though weak but attended to his usual duties. Then the rigors came on again with high fever which persisted till this morning and he still has fever. Dear Gaur is of course treating him and has sent his urine and blood for testing. At first she thought it was malaria but now she is not sure and is giving him the proper antibiotics and checking thoroughly. Here it says you all must not worry. I will be keeping you informed of his progress. Much love to dearest Mami, Gulamasi, Manu, Banumasi and all at Rupa House and to you dear self from Mani Erich and that's all. So that's our first intimation. That was on 14th December. Then she follows it up with another letter on 15th of December. 65. Merazad, dearest Manu, she writes to Manu, my postcard of yesterday will have reached you, dear ones. Today on my birthday, it's Manu's birthday, <laughs> 15 December, I am able to give you good news of dear Erich's health by beloved Baba's grace. It is surely Baba's birthday gift to me. Erich's fever was normal this morning for the first time since it had begun and during the day it has not exceeded 99.6. His pulse is also correspondingly normal. He is of course in bed. Probably the only rest he can have has to be enforced rest! Exclamation. <laughs> he is weak but is being a good boy and is taking nourishing liquids, milk, soup, etc. under dear Pendu's nursing. <coughs> so there is nothing to worry. I am also sending the good news to Dhanu, 
It is also a bright day in another sense as the sun has been shining in a clear sky all day and I hope it has been the same at your end. I only wish I could give you brighter news of the pain in beloved Baba's neck. But that doesn't want to leave him. You see, that was the time when Baba started having sp- uh, cervical spondylosis. Yeah. And uh, it was... It went on for quite a long time and Baba had to wear the collar and all that. Just for a couple of years it went on and then it just suddenly left as it came on suddenly. Yeah. I don't know how to thank you dearest ones, Mami, Merwan, Gulamasi, Banmasi, Roshan and Homai, your ever dear self for all the heartful birthday wishes you sent me in Erich's letter. I too say Amen with a little addition. May beloved Baba make me worthy of it. Please tell dear Homai I received her loving card with much love. I am enclosing a card for darling Mera Dolly which seems just specially made for them. I hope this finds each and all of you dear ones in good health and cheer. Here it's letter to dear Merwan crossed and he must have learnt of the cycle and all other items sent with shake driver reaching us safely. You know this is the cycle the, which is referred to here is uh, the cycle which I sent for Gavir because uh, Oh, where Baba wanted her to have a cycle? Yeah, because it was becoming physically impossible for her to keep coming to and fro. Every few minutes Baba would uh, call her and uh, she had to come rushing from the women's side mm-hmm. to here or go go for errands which Baba would uh, entrust her with mm-hmm. and her knees uh, would ache and the legs would fail. Mm-hmm. So Baba uh, suggested the use of a cycle. So she wanted a cycle which would be just high enough so she could paddle mm-hmm. and when need be just put her f- feet on the ground and just sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> so that particular size was not available anywhere and I had to search about a hundred shops in Pune. Mm-hmm. Eventually I got it in just one little place, most <laughs> unlikely <laughs> place and it was in such a ramshackle condition but it was the just the right size she wanted. Yeah. So I sent it over and she was delighted. She said, I will just keep it. I said, no, no, no. I have sent this for your approval. My, I'll take it back and I brought it here. Mm. And she liked it very much. So then I took it back and got it absolutely reconditioned like new. Uh-huh. And then it arrived here and <laughs> Baba made her use it with good fanfare. And <laughs> So she would cycle all the way here sometime. I remember when first we started <laughs> coming here in the 70s, she was still on her cycle. Yeah. Yeah. Till very recently. Yeah. Ducky came, I think, just a couple of years or yeah, four years. years. Was it so recently as that? How or many years was that? I would have said 10. 10 years have passed by? That's what I think. Oh, well. We can ask Steve when he comes <laughs> in a few days. Possible, so yeah. Ducky too. Quite, quite possible. <laughs> so. Is the thing on? Or I don't see the red light. Is it? Is it working all right? It says record. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah. Good enough. Yeah. <coughs> anyway, so that's the cycle which uh, Mani is referring to her to the to in this letter, you know. <coughs> yeah. Should I continue? Uh-huh. Yeah. So Mani writes, Eraj's letter to dear Merwan crossed and he must have learned of the cycle and all other items sent with Sheikh driver reaching us safely. You should see our doc- dear Dr. Cyclewala, alas Dr. <laughs> Boliwala, alas Dr. Batliwala. <laughs> Mani's usual perky style, you know. Going back and forth on a cute little cycle at jet speed. <laughs> Again with my dearest thanks and heaps of love to you dear ones and a special hunk from dear Erich, money. 
Uh-huh. Tell the Abhanmasi I'll be writing to Ella tomorrow about news of their daddy. She will phone him. Daddy was then in the United States. He was... Uh, he had gone to get his doctorate in horticulture mm-hmm. at the Michigan State University. So, Banumasi was anxious about his health and so this is the reference to something about that. And then, the next day another letter, Merazad, 16, 12, 1965. Dear Merwan, my letter of yesterday will have reached you acknowledging the combined letters from you, dear ones, of 13th and the good news of dear Eret's improvement. Today, all day, by beloved Baba's grace, his temperature has been normal, 98.4, 98, etc. And he took some mashed potatoes and boiled egg as added to the liquids. His urine report is normal and the blood was not sent to be checked. Dear Ghawe strongly suspects it was paratyphoid and rest and care is being taken so that there is no relapse. We'll drop you a few lines daily until he is quite strong enough to take up the pen again, which we are determined he should not for some time yet. <laughs> we are sure by his grace the improvement will continue and our Erech will be in the pink soon. Please tell the Amirji that his letter to Erech also is received and it will be read to beloved Baba tomorrow morning. Regards our Bapu Sahib, etc. You know, Bapu Sahib was a very close disciple of Baba mm-hmm. and a very great help to the Pune Center and much of Baba's activities in Guru Prasad, public mm-hmm. darshans and all. So he had just passed away. Oh. Yeah, but. Uh, you might have recounted that. I yeah, I recounted that. Yeah. And uh, he passed away in very tragic circumstances because he had this terrible affliction called panfigus. It's a skin affliction, it's a rare skin affliction and it erupts all over the body and makes a mess of the whole system. That becomes septic and then you die. There's no cure for it. And that's what he died of. That's right. (coughs) In fact, uh, you know, in 1965 was the last public darshan that Baba gave in... I was just thinking, one month before this, oh. wasn't it in November? No. Or no, May. May, May. No, no. May. May. In summer of 65 Six was the last darshan program. Yeah. And that was when Bapu Sahib helped us a lot, the most. Yeah. So for the tents and all the arrangements and this and that. And the... Just before Baba was due back, he had begun to have this trouble. And Baba said his nazar will be on him, not to worry and all that. Mm. Yeah. So Baba would ask for his health off and on. Mm. And we would be sending letters. So this is the mention about it. That it will be read to beloved Baba tomorrow morning. Regards Bapu Sahib. I'm in closing Bapu Sahib Shinde, that was his name. Bapu Sahib Shinde. I am enclosing from Eraj copy of letter received from Steve Simon, which arrived after Eraj had written to Irwin and Edward Luck, of which he had sent you a copy. Please, dear Merwan, return here both the copies after you have done with them, for showing to Nariman and then filing. I wonder who this Steve Simon is. I've never heard of him. Um, in much haste, as the boy is raring to go off with the mail, and with much love to you, one and all, dear ones, from our H.U., Nana, Gahwar, and myself. H.U. is Erich and Nana is Najama. <laughs> H.U. is Erich? Yeah. <laughs> A sort of endearing term. You know. Because uh, Me- little Mera would call Erich H.U. Mama. <laughs> She couldn't pronounce the name properly. Yeah. yeah. H-U. 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 <laughs> uh, sign money. Tell darling baby Mera that her H.U. Mama. Yeah, there it comes. H.U. Mama. And all of us were very happy and proud to read her school marks. They are excellent. She used to stand first all the while. No, second. There was one other a girl there which always stood for, who always stood first and she would be second 
<laughs> she would just be a couple of marks less than that girl. And beloved Baba will be very happy too when I read these marks out to him tomorrow. Yes, we are having clear sunny weather too and after the London weather, how we appreciate it. <laughs> Probably it was raining and cl- dull and cloudy in, in winter, so that's, that could be quite nasty, you know. <clears throat> then Mani writes, I have written to Fredella regards dear daddy, they will phone him immediately. Please tell dear Banumasi Sam Rosie not to worry. Then here's a letter from Erech again, dated 17th of December, just after this one. My dear Merwan, since past two days I have no fever and today I am feeling much better. I have started solid food from today. Still chlorostrep is being continued. I was kept on chloromycetin, two caps every six hours. Gava says it was a case of paratyphoid. Hope dearest mummy's catch in the back is relaxed and that she is not handicapped. It seems our family has this weakness in the back. So mm. Manu has a weak back, mummy had it. Iraj also would be frequently bothered by back trouble, you know. What about you? And I also would have back trouble. <laughs> In, in fact, I have a little scoliosis in my spine, a uh-huh. little bend. Uh-huh. So, yeah, some, every few years or a f- some interval, it just asserts itself and uh-huh. makes itself felt. <laughs> yeah, so mommy would have these attacks, you know. All our letters and letters of dearest Mami, Manu, Sami, Rosie, Mera and Dolly were received. We are all so happy and proud of dear Mera's exam results. Please congratulate her on my behalf. She would be in the upper 90s in all subjects. Yeah. Exceptionally brilliant. And that little lad of hers is even more so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hope. I uh, have noted complete details of Bapu Sahib's last day and funeral from your letter and from dear Meiji's letter describing the whole scene so vividly. Well, Bapu Sahib did his job and is now free. Bapu Sahib's l- loss to the Guru Prasadians will be very great. Baba sent me a message regards Bapu Sahib on 14th as follows. You see, because Erich was not well, so from the hall Baba must have sent a message to his room. Mm. So that's why he r- writes that Baba sent me a message. Uh-huh. He was sick at that time. So this is the message in quotes. I have lost Bapu Sahib, Shinde, but he has found me. <laughs> that's the quotes. It's so beautiful. I have lost Bapu Sahib, Shinde, but he has found me. Then Eraj writes, it is so very true. I have noted from the Amerji's letter that he will not be able to visit Meraza this month. The earliest will be on 1st January 1966. Hope this finds you all, my dear ones, in the best of health and that dear Gulamasi, Banumasi too are feeling better. With much love to you all, yours lovingly, Eraj. PTO. Oh, here's a... Put note from money. Dear Merwan, dear Erich is resting in bed looking so innocent, into quotes, after he had picked up the pen behind our backs and written to you. <laughs> I've told him he's just like Peter, a naughty boy. Peter the Spaniel, you know. <laughs> and that I would write to you dear ones about it. It is quite all right, of course, that he did so. And secretly I am glad as he will be so happy to see the letter in his own handwriting. But I made a lot of garbar about it. That means noise. <laughs> so he wouldn't do it again. So that he doesn't get too free with the pen. For he must rest for some days and we are determined to see he makes the most of this temporary divorce from letter writing. <laughs> With lots of love to you, dearest ones at Bindra and Vilu houses, Mani. Mani had a real penchant for 
mm. putting in wonderful expressions, you know. <laughs> yeah. She has a gift for language. Yeah, I know. She is very gifted even in acting, you know. You should have seen her in those acting days. <laughs> yeah. And uh, later on when she had just to read to Baba for hours and hours, so she would uh, read in such a way as if she's acting out the whole thing with different voices and intonations and... Oh, this is marvelous. So Baba liked it very much, you know. yeah. Now, this is a set of letters that uh, are in connection with a Baba lover named Manohar Sakre. Manohar Sakre was uh, in the in the Air Force as a big officer in in the Indian Air Force, and I think I told you the story of how he attended uh, the East-West gathering just when the Chinese invasion was taking place yeah. and uh, he wangled, he somehow wangled his leave to come to Guru Prasad mm. and when he reached here, b even before he reached Guru Prasad, uh, <clears throat> messages had come for recall and how <laughs> we were able to wangle evasion of all that. He, they, and eventually they wanted to arrest him <laughs> for not responding to the call. And somehow when he went back, uh, instead of being court-martialed as he was expecting, and a court-martial could mean several years behind bars, you know, so for, for uh, dereliction of duty in time of emergency. It's a very serious crime for a big officer like him. But his faith and love for Baba was so great that really how Baba worked a miracle then is, yeah. So he was so much for Baba that his, he had, uh, his, his whole company there under him, they began to uh, know about Baba and uh, they would have programs about even during Baba's birthday time or something. Mm. His whole regiment, I mean the squadron or whatever, he, which he would command. Yeah. So, one of those people from his is writing to Erich. And that's his letter. Huh? It's a nice letter. So, it's Flight Sergeant Kashid, N.A., SNCO's Mess, AFFC, Jodhpur, Rajasthan. This is near the front, you know, the western front. Uh, 21st, Pakistan is just across the border from Rajasthan. 21st February 1966, Jai Hind, <laughs> he writes, uh, yeah. Respected Sir, is writing, uh, I don't know to whom, they just write respected sir. Hope this will find yourself and family in the best of health and happiness. Here at Jodhpur, we all are happy and are in the best of health. Actually sir, we remember beloved Baba as his birthday is falling due on 25th of this month. Therefore it is our earnest request that our birthday greetings may please be sent to him. During emergency, sir, we were really on the top, maintaining 90% serviceability all the time. We have produced one Veer Chakra, one Vishist Seva Medal and one Vayu Seva Medal. These are uh, decorations given by the President of India each year to people who have served the country very diligently. So, this so is quite a distinction. yeah. So, Veer Chakra is one of the top awards, you know, and uh, and all these other medals. So they earn three medals in a year. So how efficient their unit must have been—a small unit earning three from all over the country. 
Some of us also may get something. Anyway, let us hope for the best. All the boys have sent their best regards and all of them are hoping to hear Baba's blessing soon. <laughs> My family and children are well. I've got one more son. <laughs> this is the first letter he writes. <laughs> he was born on 7th September 1965. One of my son is studying in Satara Sainik school. Sainik means military. So this was read to Baba. Uh -huh. Then yours faithfully and I don't know who signed it. <laughs> so then uh, replied by wire, Erech writes, wired the message on 28th February. It, in quotes, Beloved Avatar, Mehr Baba directs me to convey to you, your family and all Mehr lovers, his love and blessings. Stop. He is always present in all hearts that remember him. So this is from a totally unknown person who had begun loving Baba because of Manor Sakre. He was. So the letter seems very. Fresh and yeah, innocent yeah. In the way it's <laughs> yeah. <super>. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about his service yeah, and <laughs> addressing Baba, respected sir. <laughs> so then, uh, in reply to the wire, the Manor Sakre writes huh? yeah. from the same place, number 1AF selection board, Clement Town, Dehradun. Now, this is different, I think. But, no, this is a different letter, I think. 25th February 66. No, it's the same thing. The same thing. My dear Eraj Bhai, we were so happy to rece receive beloved Baba's love blessings in his telegram to our group this morning. So he must have flown to Dehradun and written from there. Yeah. It will be read out in this evening's function. Function. My boys at Jodhpur have asked for his blessings. He called his company his boys. <laughs> he was very, um, very chummy with them. You know. He was a very loving soul. So he would never show that he was an officer or that. Mm -hmm. And his and the boys and the the men under him would work as a single unit, as it were. They would, they were dedicated to him. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he would treat them as his own children. I am enclosing a copy of the letter which speaks for itself. <clears throat> oh, so I think this was the letter which I read, you know. Oh, that was, was with his cover. Yeah, this was addressed to Manor Sakre and that copy was sent to Eraj, which I just read. Uh -huh. I was wondering how he's writing all this. <laughs> so he, he has addressed this to, to Sakre. Uh -huh. his, his boss, Within and who forwarded the copy to Erich, and then Erich sent that telegraphic reply. <laughs> so it's it's clear, cleared up now to me. Yeah. So where am I? Uh, <clears throat> I'm enclosing a copy of the letter which speaks for itself. Yesterday we were glad to get a letter of appointment with President of India. He has given an appointment on Saturday the 5th March at 5.20 p.m. Just now I am sending a letter confirming the appointment. The court martial is sitting and the President tells me that it would be over by probably 28th evening in which case we will leave for Delhi on first morning. All the court martial officers are attending the function this evening. That's Baba's birthday function. Court martial? What's this about court martial? They they, they sit for more yeah. military affairs, you know. But this isn't anyone being court martial. This is just the, those people. Yeah, are, who who uh, conduct uh, court martial inquiries yeah. and all so top functionaries. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure it is going to be a grand success by His Grace. Mm -hmm. With all our love to beloved Baba, yours lovingly, Mona Manohar. Mona was his wife, you know. She was also extremely devoted to Baba. And this meeting which he mentions here about the president, they did go to the president, both the husband and wife, uh -huh. and then the president gave them a lot of time. Usually it would be a couple of minutes each, there would be people in line yeah. wanting the 
wanting an interview with the president. But here they were there for quite a long time and then uh, Mona's wife spoke about Baba and then he said, all right, you uh, recite Baba's Aarti to me and she, yeah. Which president was this? Radha Krishnan. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He had yeah. heard Baba before, hadn't he? Huh? He hadn't met Baba. But he had heard of Baba. Yeah, he had heard. But he was a great scholar, yeah. Dr. Radha Krishna, yeah, Doctor of Philosophy. He had, yeah. he had an actual degree, a very brilliant and, uh, and an intellectual. Yeah. One of the few good presidents he had. <laughs> yeah. So then here's a letter at the same time, at that time. From Eraj, Merazad, 28th February 1966, 6 p.m. My dear Merwan, enclosed is a note from Dhan. From the note you will gather that dear Pilumama wants Dadi's recent letter I had given you this. I had given you this letter for you to share with dear Banumasi. It is a long envelope written by Dadi for Baba's birthday. Please send this letter to dear Pilumama immediately so that he receives it in time to give it to Rusi. Dear Dr. Deshmukh's letter says of a very cordial interview with the President. He inquired after Baba's health and whether there are any followers in Pakistan, etc., etc. This is Deshmukh also got an interview from him. With Radha Krishna? Yeah, same, yeah. Then Dr. Deshmukh presented a copy of the Godman along with the recent in review and also the folder of reviews on God Speaks to him. However, Deshmukh does not mention anything about having touched the topic of reading God Speaks, etc. Mona Manohar wrote saying, they are given the appointment on 5th March at 5.20 p.m. So I am again writing to them to ask the President whether or not he has read God Speaks. If not, he should be requested to do so, etc., etc. Because Baba wanted them, him to read yeah. it. Yeah. Somehow Baba had a soft corner for Radha Krishnan. Mm -hmm. And once he also wanted me to write a letter. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, some letters so that he feels convinced to come and see Baba. <laughs> <laughs> so I wrote it but then Eric disapproved of it and said, Baba, this won't do, we shouldn't write like that. <laughs> <laughs> Baba himself dictated yeah. a letter to me. When Baba I was, dictated the letter? Yeah, with Did signs. Sign? And, I, and I had to write down what he was yeah. saying. So Eraj disapproved of it. <laughs> he said, go and ask Eraj uh, his opinion about it. So, <laughs> yeah, he just turned it down. <laughs> so Baba says, all right, tear it up. <laughs> and I, then Eraj said, but Baba, why do you want to go, go after this president? So Baba says, but I want him to come and see me. I, I want it. <laughs> As if a small child, you know. <laughs> would uh, want something. <laughs> Probably had some work which he wanted to do. Yeah. But he never did. No, he never did. It was not fated for him. <laughs> was he one of the freedom fighters? Had he been of that generation? No, uh, he, he was of that, but not much in the political. Uh, maybe I, I don't know much details. Yeah. He may be in the freedom struggle, mm -hmm. but uh, that. Um, for that type of thing, it was Nehru and Rajendra yeah. Prasad and all these people, Vallabhbhai. Yeah. They were mostly in the forefront for freedom and all, freedom movement. Okay, then Eraj carries on. Beloved Baba, and we all miss you a great deal. And the room here feels so empty without you, Merwan. I must have just returned from Merazad, you know. So, he's writing this. Baba directed me to convey to you his love. Hope you take some good rest in Bindra house after the hectic weeks of activity at Merazad. I had come for a vacation at Merazad <laughs> and it was a very hectic uh, year of Baba birthday celebrations and telegrams two and four, throw and so. <laughs> so he says, now you go back and rest. <laughs> <laughs> after your vacation. Yeah. <laughs> rest after your vacation. Yeah. 
In the Monday mail, I received about six more birthday greeting telegrams. Now we will be re receiving the reports on celebrations from all over India. Hope all dear ones are in good health. Give my love to all dear ones at Bindra and Willu houses. So that's about it. But the fabric of family life was so um, intact around Baba. Yeah. I mean, all mm -hmm. the this about how is this one doing? Yeah. All these little little things. Yeah, Baba would want to keep in touch, you know, uh, all the while, until almost the last three or four years. Yeah. It would be with many families all over yeah. the world. Until after that, then Baba was slowly withdrawing himself. Yeah. yeah. So, all the more work for it is to yeah. somehow keep, keep everybody yeah. in touch. You know. Now we come to the very last uh, period, yeah. which was just, uh, this period is just, I think, a week prior to Baba dropping his body. Mm. So, these are rather grim and somber letters which, uh, which were the only ones that, ha that were left uh, in my record. So, and some of course uh, were all torn up, so <laughs> whatever there they were I could uh, salvage and these will be fragments. Yeah, some are fragments, some are whole letters. Mm. So we begin with a little note from Eraj, and <coughs> it's just a sort of a small statement on a on a piece of paper that he sent to me, and uh, <coughs> this is the contents. Mir Baba was given two, and then in brackets one, blood transfusions on 15-12-1968 and 19-12-1968. So these were the two dates when Baba was given blood transfusion. So just for how many days? I think a couple of days prior to the last function that Baba had at Merazad. Was the 22nd or the 23rd? Yeah, there were two days of the function, 21st and 22nd, I think. Or 22nd and 23rd, I don't remember. So one was Neva's birthday and and the other was the reception to Dara and Amrit's wedding. So a couple of days prior to that was the second transfusion. I forget, were these the first blood transfusions Baba had had? First and last. First and last. Yeah. Right. Never before, never after. Fifteenth hmm. yeah. was... the donor was? Well, we don't know because uh, Grant uh, brought it from his blood bank, huh. <coughs> taking Baba's blood sample from here and matching the correct blood supply so that it would be a very smooth transfusion. Yeah. Hmm. Then that's the first piece of news and then second, Baba's blood group is, quotes A, B. Then again, capital R, small h, O, capital D, positive. What does that mean? I don't know. R, H, O, D, positive. You have to ask us. A, B is his group. I think that's... Um, a group which is a universal re recipient or something. I think I've heard that Baba's blood is u his universal recipient, uh, but no one can take it. It's, it can't donate to anyone except others. Who are having AB. AB. Oh, I see. On 13, 12, 68, his hemoglobin count was as low as 5.8 grams. So that was fairly low and that's why uh, Grant recommended 
blood, blood transfusion. And uh, a month prior to that, I had visited uh, Nairazad. It happened to be my birthday and he called me here. Uh -huh. I had gone to see my uncle Merji Mama. He was down with some urinary infection mm -hmm. and his blood count fell so low that the doctor gave him immediate blood transfusion. So when I came over here, then he asked me about my uncle. So I said, he, this is ha what happened and they had to give him blood transfusion. Mm -hmm. So Baba says, why doesn't anybody think about giving me blood transfusion? <laughs> At that time there was nothing about it. Huh? Baba was moving about, no problem. And he just casually mentioned this. And, a, and less than a month later, the doctor finds that he needs blood transfusion. Yeah. So, a little hint he had already given. <laughs> and we just ignore when, he's, when he just gives out these things. You know. ah, therefore, blood transfusion was absolutely essential. That's what he writes here. So that's the first note. And then here's a letter dated Merazad, 22nd January 1969. That's... Nine days. Nine, yeah, nine, less than nine, seven days. Oh, 22nd. Oh, 22nd, yeah, so nine days, that's right. 22nd January 69, 5.30 p.m. Hmm. My dear Merwan, today was a good day for us as beloved Baba was in a happy mood and played Sokta with Francis. Sokta is checkers. Oh. Yeah, so he played with Francis that day. <laughs> and then with Kaka in the morning, <laughs> Kaka, you know, <laughs> who, who was having all this, this speech difficulty and all. <laughs> and in the evening he enjoyed like anything teaching Kaka a bhajan composed by him. <laughs> The bhajan was Sai Baba, Baba Jan, Mer Baba, Che Bhagwan. <laughs> so Kaka was told to repeat this. And the way he repeated it, he, he writes further, We all laughed like hell today after many months. <laughs> of course, beloved Baba is still in his room and eats and sits on his cot with support at his back and under his legs. This morning too, he had a very slight choking sensation when he got up and was made to sit on bed. Luckily, Gawir had administered a pill early morning and that helped him. It is like a sort of old age, mild asthma. He tells us all not to get worried and even if he goes into a coma, we must not worry as he would get out of it in a couple of days. It seems he Where is this? I can't get the rest of it. Or I've lost the other part of the letter or what? No, it's here at the back side. It seems he is bent upon passing through all the various stages, exclamation mark. Yesterday he looked very ill and today he looked very much better. Both Donkin and Francis expressed wonder today at the way he appeared so much better. Hope the next blood test on 24th Friday shows further reduction in urea percentage and some good rise in hemoglobin percentage. Please tell dear Meji to phone the result to Adi's office as Baba told Don today that in absence of Adi who will be going to Bombay, Don should be handy and if possible speak with Meji and get from him the report verbally and bring the news straight to Merazad same evening. Mm -hmm. I have informed Faram Roj and Bhaskar to keep alert between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. on Friday for receiving phone from Meji. 24th is Francis's birthday. Here it writes in P.S. 
Yes, so that's it. Then uh, further note in the same letter. Eric will occupy every available space in the letter. So we have to search if there is anything left out, you know. Sometimes I would miss what he had written in his letters, you know. <laughs> so this is another little thing he scribbled here. Tomorrow, beloved Baba has called Sado Pulao from Chagan. Sada means simple. So just not very spicy or rich. Today he called for lemon tart from Vilumai. Yesterday he had Marwadi Dar from Bhagirath. Marwadi is, a, is the caste uh, of the Hindus. Yeah, from Marwad, so they are Marwadis. Uh-huh. So Bhagirath is a Marwadi, you know. <laughs> so, so he was having local... Yeah, so, food. yeah so he would call... The, this was in the last days, he called food from different households. Mm. and made them cook for him. So probably the last dishes they ever made for Baba. Yeah. Yesterday he had Marwadi Dar. Dar means lentils, you know, yes. uh, from Bhagirath. And day before he ate Sambhar Dal from Bhaskar Zusha. Bhaskar was the son of Kutum Shastri, mm-hmm. the first trustee in, yeah. in the trust yeah. chairman, yeah. So, his wife was made to cook also. Sambar is a very famous uh, dish in South India. Were they living in town? The, just place? opposite uh, the trust office, you oh. know. Oh. The Zendi Gate, there's yeah. a little colony there. Yeah. And they used to stay there. Yeah. He's having Bumla three every alternate day. Bo- that's Bombay Duck. <laughs> 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 so that's why I had to send so every alternate day, three ration fish were allowed to him, the small pieces, you know. <laughs> because he had this kid, uh, kidney problem, so not much protein was allowed. The gap is filled with an egg, scrambled, which he relishes. <laughs> with Yusuf, I will send two empty vegetable sacks. You may please arrange to send 18 bumlas, that is Bombay ducks. If you get them with Yusuf on 31st Friday, that's the day Baba dropped his body. Oh, so that's scheduled. Yeah. Don't send them on 24th, but on his next trip after 24th, that is Yusuf's trip. Yusuf was the driver who used to be sent to Pune with Baba's blood samples and all that for testing. Did you ever send those Bombay ducks that? Oh yeah, I, I was constantly sending them. But I mean on the 31st? No, no. That didn't. That didn't. Because Baba had dropped his body. But yeah. you wouldn't have heard news of that in the morning. I don't know. Probably Yusuf's coming here, uh, coming to Pune might have been cancelled because the doctors were brought, uh-huh. called here. Uh-huh. See? And on 30th, Grant had visited Baba. Right. Yes. I don't recollect now whether I sent it or not. Most probably no. Then here is another letter dated, that's, that was 22nd, now this is 23rd January, 5.30 p.m. <coughs> Oblique 10.30 p.m. So obviously he must be writing, Baba kept calling him, so it got delayed and eventually completed it in the night. Yeah. My dear Merwan, received today your inland letter of 22nd January 1969 and have noted that you paid rupees 180 to Berambai. Dear money sends you much love and a huge thank you. These are I think some accounts of photos which Behram used to prepare for Baba lovers, you know, in the West and all, which Baba used to touch and send, yeah. So, it used to help Behram. Somewhat, yeah. Dear Ghaver and Pendu have noted that Mohite bought six Prabhakar lanterns and that they are ready for use at Guru Prasad and that you have paid rupees 39 for, for the six at wholesale rates. You know, when Baba would come to Guru Prasad, we would invariably have these uh, 
uh, uh, rainstorms in Pune. Mm. But uh, after Baba passed away and some time later, we've never had those rainstorms in the mm. summer. Mm. So summers are now just one dry, hot spell. Otherwise, we would have these fierce rainstorms and it would cool down. But when the rains came, it would be thunder, lightning mm. and the, invariably the power would go off. Mm. So lanterns would be ready and immediately they would be lighted up. And so uh, those lanterns were getting old, so I had to buy a new set. Mm. And so I just um, got them bought by Mohit, the manager, mm. and kept ready for Baba's use because I was expecting Baba to come any day, you know. Yeah. Baba was to be brought to Guru oh, Prasad. That's right, the plans hit him. Yeah. The plans to do that. yeah, that's right. So, mention about these lanterns. Then he writes further, I shall wish on behalf of Bindra and Vilu houses many happy returns of the day to Francis tomorrow on his birthday. I might have written something, so 24th was his birthday, Francis. Yes, tomorrow is yet another day of suspense. Let us hope that beloved Baba takes a turn for the better from tomorrow so that we all feel so much relieved of daily suspense and anxiety. Today, since afternoon, he started complaining of a very stiff back and would fear even to take turn in bed. Then ah. there is a... Well, he writes, it is not a catch in the usual way, but it is a sort of rigidity in the back. Waist downwards up to the feet, he became rigid like a log of wood. So stiff and heavy every time after taking a turn in bed. So it was something new. He has been having since a fortnight quite a good stiffness in the spine, but today's was the limit. We all felt so anxious about this condition this afternoon. <clears throat> Every turning would be an ordeal of extreme degree. Even if we wholly helped him turn with all our help and tenderness. <clears throat> In the midst of all his agony, I felt as if he was trying to clear his throat before breaking his silence. This was the thing which produced quite a quite a storm in the Baba world, you know. <laughs> because I happened to mention this to Eraj and he said he he's just signed to me to keep quiet but somebody noticed it and they said, please let us know what it was. <laughs> and then uh, it was announced that Baba had, had broken his silence. It got twisted to that, you know. <laughs> This was that. So this is the letter that. This was the fateful it. sentence. I see. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Rerach writes, he produced such a peculiar noise. This is just for your personal information only. So he said to keep quiet about it, so people might misconstrue, you know. And it was misconstrued. <laughs> the only time I said something in the hall, and it <laughs> came on my on my neck, you know. <laughs> Then he writes, after all this ordeal which we were, so to say, made to bear witness, he once again made me try Kaka sing the bhajan he composed yesterday. Sai Baba, Baba Jan, Mer Baba Che Bhagwan. And as Kaka's tongue started to twist and turn the words in fantastic pronunciations and shoutings, Baba once again laughed and laughed as we have never seen him before. Yeah, in that terrible agony that he was suffering. So, Kaka, you know, when he couldn't get the words out, he used to sometimes become a little impatient and desperate. Then he would begin to shout and shout at the top of his voice. <laughs> so, that amused Baba all the more. You know. <laughs> 
So here they are witnessing this terrible agony of Baba and Baba is uh, um, showing his sense of humor at this time, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so we have never seen him before. Then he turned to us all and said that today's ordeal was the limit and that from tomorrow he will become better. We pray that his words come true and say Amen. Gavir and we all feel very tired and exhausted because of Baba's condition and the daily suspense. He looks radiant, he looks better, he looks worse, so forth and so on every day. <clears throat> Yours lovingly, Eric. Then P.S. 10.30 p.m. on 23rd. I have just returned from Baba's room. I was called at 9 p.m. to help him turn in bed. He again had severe pain and stiffness and because of pain a sort of choking in the throat. He is now resting and told me to go and sleep. Wait, just to turn in bed, Eric should have to be called and yeah. it take a long time? It's yeah. It's like... So you can imagine the ordeal which the Mandi had to face. These last days were so terrible. Then here's a letter which is, which I could have skipped, but as we have some time, we'll just put it. Yeah. It's coming all right. So, Merazad, 24th January 69, 4.30 a.m. My dear Merwan, <coughs> enclosed is a special gift from dear Gaver to dearest Manu. It was a sort of a magnifying uh, strip which you place on the on the uh, on a sheet of paper and it magnifies the characters. Oh yeah, they still have those. But oh. that's one of those. Oh yeah? yeah. You have to just shift that and read it. Manu was having weak sight, so Gavir sent it for us. So this is what is mentioned here. Hope dear Manu finds it easier to read smaller prints with the help of this Japanese magnifier. It is easy to handle with her specs on. She will be able to read prints easily in good light with greater ease. I tried.